People living in the northeast Nigeria are raising concerns over the rate of uncontrolled Almagiri education system and ask the federal government to integrate them in formal education. This is coming on the premise that recent activities of some of these systems are tilted towards terrorism, except addressed swiftly. Correspondent Ansel Luhu filed this special report. Lara. Lara, yeah. Almagiri. Moving from one place to another, begging for food and arms, is only means of survival. This happens every day after the morning Quranic citation, supervised by Malams. These kids are brought from different states of the Federation and even neighboring Cameroon, Niger and Chad. The children are among the over 200,000 El Majuri in Adamawa state, that according to a UNICEF annual report. According to the report, Nigeria has 9.5 million al children, over 2.7 million of that total come from the northeast, representing 25% of the total number. It is worrisome to note that the alarming number represents 72% of the 13.2 million out-of-school children in the country. There has been rising concern that these vulnerable children are easy recruits for Boko Haram and other miscreants involved in heinous crimes in the country. It is because of this concern that the group in Yola called al -Majuri, is also a child is advocating for a sustainable solution to al -Majuri menace. This is not the best practice. We can reform the system and we can adopt it. We can all, these children can be in school and that will not stop them from pursuing the, uh, our Islamic knowledge. Renald Rollins is the chief security of the American University of Nigeria, Yola. One day those children will be adults. They can't read, they can't think, they can't sort things out for themselves. So what do they do? Become militants, become insurgents, become criminal bandits. Only recently, over 100 al Madri children were rescued from their malam in Kaduna State, living in chains. Ansem Nuhu, Yola.